Let's talk this, about the splitting method for addition. When we use the splitting method, we're really thinking about what we understand about place value. So in the problem 32 plus 17, kids understand through their place value work with our place value manipulatives, our base 10 pieces, we understand that 32 is 3 tens and 2 ones. We also understand that 17 is 1 ten with seven ones. In the splitting method, we split apart our tens and add them together and our ones and add them together. So in this case, I could add my tens together. So 30 plus 10, and I can add my ones together, two plus seven. 30 and 10 is 40, two and seven is nine, 32 plus 17 is 49, okay? This method is great for getting closer and closer to that standard algorithm. We'll learn the standard algorithm starting in third grade. When it looks like this, if we have the number 32, it looks like this, 32 plus 17. When we begin to stack our numbers, we can split our 32 into 30 and two more and we can split our 17 into 10 and 7 more. In the same way that we added our 10s and 1s separately, we split them here, we're going to split them here. 30 and 10 is 40, 2 and 7 is 9, 49. This also helps kids see, before we get into that standard algorithm, when we're, can we work, talk about, um, this also helps kids see when we start working with a standard algorithm and we need to carry a number over or borrow a number, in other words, we need to regroup those numbers, it helps them see that also. Here's an example of how it helps kids see how um, our numbers will be regrouped then. So if we had 47 plus 15, for example, when I use my splitting method, I see 40 and 7, I see 10 and 5. When I add my 40 and 10 together, I have 50. When I add my 7 and 5 together, I have 12. Kids will notice, oh, I have another 10. Initially, we could split again if we wanted to and say, can we put this 10 with this, these 5 10s? Yes, we now have 60 and 2. And this is the precursor to learning. 7 and 5 is 12, which is two ones and one ten. Oops.